Hi, welcome back to Cadible. This is Engineer Ibrahim Umar. And today we'll be creating a Plinko game in uh, SolidWorks. And I'm using SolidWorks 2020. Uh, I will be uh, providing its file and you can download it from my uh, GrabCAD portfolio. Uh, so let's uh, animate it first. Uh, let's click here, uh, play from start. And now you can see the uh, this are uh, uh, falling. Uh, okay, so just stop it here and uh, uh, go to here new and uh, select part and click okay first of all uh, i will uh, model the uh, board of this uh, uh, plinko game so let's select this uh, front plane click sketch and uh, let's change the background to plain white okay uh, let's uh, select this line and uh, let's make a line here and uh, i will dimension it later let's make uh, one line here uh, one line here and uh, maybe one line here and, uh, and now I will join this line with this okay so let's dimension it let's go to here dimension smart dimension and uh, let's say this vertical uh, length is uh, 300 millimeters change it to 300 uh, also the angle uh, is uh, 60 degree and let's change this to 60 degree uh, also uh, this uh, uh, this height is uh, 25 and my units are in uh, uh, mmgs that is uh, millimeters uh, okay let's drag this uh, sorry let's drag this to here and uh, uh, it is still under defined you can see that so i have to constrain one more geometry let's go to smart dimension again and uh, let's make it uh, maybe 200 uh, okay now you can see that my sketch uh, color is uh, black and you can see here as well the sketch is fully defined okay so let's go to your features extrude boss and uh, i will change this to uh, mid plane extrusion and i will make an extrusion of uh, 500 millimeters okay and click here okay, next is uh, uh, i will uh, uh, I will cut some portion here so uh, uh, I need a sketch for that so click here sketch and I will click this face and view normal and I will offset it uh, 15 millimeters each side so click here offset entities and click this line uh, this line this line and this line and change uh, reverse and change this dimension to 15 millimeters okay and uh, next is uh, just rotate it uh, i'll go to your features extrude cut and i will make uh, a cut of uh, 20 millimeters uh, click here okay uh, next is uh, i will create uh, uh, some ribs so let's go to here rib and it is very important to select plane while creating ribs because uh, uh, mostly uh, when you are creating ribs ribs feature uh, will fail because uh, you are not selecting the right plane so don't select uh, uh, don't select this plane this below side you have to select this plane because these ribs will be extruded in uh, uh, negative z direction so let's select this plane and uh, view normal and i will make uh, three lines one line uh, here and uh, one line maybe here and uh, the last line it would be here okay uh, let's dimension this go to smart dimension and uh, the length from here to here is 117.5 I, uh, I have already calculated this and uh, let's change it to 117.5 and uh, dimension from here to here is also 117.5 and the last one is also 117.5 change it to and uh, this dimension would also be 117.5 uh, no need to dimension it because it is uh, it is fully defined uh, just rotate it and uh, uh, click uh, click here and now you can see the preview of your uh, ribs 
let's change the thickness of the strip from 10 millimeters to maybe 15 millimeters and uh, here you can see the preview okay uh, you can change this to maybe uh, first side or left side rib uh, maybe hit this or maybe this but i think it's okay uh, ribs on both sides uh, that is 7.5 millimeters here and 7.5 millimeters here and click here okay uh, okay next is uh, i will create uh, uh, one circle here and then i will extrude it so let's go to a sketch and i'll select this uh, drafted plane or this drafted face and uh, click here circle and uh, uh, click here smart dimension and uh, the dimension from this line to this center of the circle is uh, uh, is 50 millimeters so change it to 50 and uh, the dimension from uh, uh, maybe this line to this line is also 50 millimeters okay it is still underdefined because i haven't uh, dimensioned or i uh, i haven't uh, con uh, constrained the uh, diameter so click here smart dimension again and uh, change it to let's say uh, 20 millimeters and now you can see that sketch is fully defined uh, go to here features features extrude boss and uh, change it to uh, 10 millimeters uh, merge result and click ok uh, next is uh, I will use uh, uh, pattern command to pattern this uh, so I will go to here and uh, this time let's say I will select uh, this one fill pattern and uh, fill boundary is this face and uh, you can uh, have your uh, pattern layout perforation or uh, maybe circular square and uh, polygon but i will select this one and i'll change this degree to maybe uh, 45 and uh, the edge is this one and the features uh, features uh, would be this extrude boss okay now you can see the preview uh, you can change this to maybe this one this one this one but uh, i will use this one so click ok and uh, lastly i will apply some appearance to this uh, board this plinko board so i will go to here appearance and uh, i'll go to here appearance and uh, let's go to here maybe plastic uh, high gloss plastic and uh, i'll apply let's say this one to this whole body and uh, let's select uh, this one and uh, maybe this one and I'll change these to let's say this one also select this face hold shift key and uh, this time let's say I'll change this to uh, let's say this one uh, so uh, next is uh, uh, I'll model the disk so first of all I'll save this so I'll go to here save and I'll change this to uh, Plinko yeah, just Plinko you can see that I have already uh, modeled these so just save it as Plinko uh, next is I have to model a disk so I'll go to here new and uh, click this part click ok and uh, change the background uh, just go to here top plane is sketch and uh, select this circle and I'll make a circle of uh, uh, 30 millimeters uh, dia change it to 30 and I'll make an extrusion of only 5 millimeters so change it to 5 and uh, change the direction or uh, I think it's okay and uh, also i will change the appearance to let's say green and click here and click ok and i'll save this to uh, disk uh, so after creating disk now i will assemble the uh, plinko board with this disk so i'll click here make assembly from part and uh, first i will assemble the 
Plinko board because uh, the first part that you always assemble in SOLIDWORKS assembly is fixed by default and I need this Plinko board uh, to be fixed. So click here and uh, now you can uh, you cannot uh, you cannot drag this board uh, you can uh, you can see that this uh, selected component is fixed okay uh, i'll change the background to plain white okay next is uh, i will select this insert components and go to here browse select this disk click open and i will click somewhere here now you can see that i can drag the second part but i cannot drag the first part so uh, let's make a very basic mate uh, select this face and uh, let's say I select this face holding shift click this uh, coincident relation and I'll adjust uh, somewhere here let's say if I can view from this orientation and let's change the orientation to maybe top view and it, uh, that's fine uh, okay next is uh, I will make uh, a copy of this uh, disk so i'll go to here uh, click here copy with mats and select this disk uh, click here next and click here and you can see the uh, preview of this second disk uh, let's say i want uh, eight number of copies so click here three uh, four five six seven and eight and now I'll click here cancel uh, now I can adjust these let's say one here and uh, maybe one here one disk here and one here one here one uh, maybe here and I'll drag this uh, here uh, now I can uh, uh, change the appearance so I'll select this disk and I'll change the appearance to uh, some lighter green color uh, select this one and I'll change this color to uh, let's say uh, yellow and uh, select this one and I'll change this color to uh, maybe uh, purple select this one and I'll change the color to let's say uh, this one and uh, let's change this color to white i'll change this color to white and select this one six disc and i'll change this color to uh, let's say black and uh, lastly i will change the appearance of this disc so click this seventh disc click here edit appearance and i'll change this appearance to let's say uh, red and click ok so uh, next is uh, I will create a, a motion study of this uh, Plinko game. Uh, so click here motion study and uh, first of all I have to suppress these mats. So I will go to here mats and uh, uh, click this uh, coincident one mat. Hold shift and control and select this and just right click and click this suppress. Uh, okay, uh, let's change this uh, to basic motion and click this and I'll change the frames per second to let's say 50 also uh, geometric accuracy would be high and let's say I want 3d contact resolution uh, high as well and click ok the next is uh, I will create uh, a contact so click here contact and just select all parts and uh, click OK. Uh, now you can see that solid contact is created and uh, next is I will create uh, uh, gravity, add gravity and uh, let's select this Y and uh, click OK. Uh, next is uh, now you can see uh, gravity here as well. Uh, next is uh, I'll uh, calculate the a motion study for this uh, Plinko game so just zoom it and I'll uh, click here calculate uh, now you can see uh, your uh, uh, Plinko game you can see that uh, discs are falling and uh, just stop it here and I'll change the speed to let's say 0.5 and uh, play from start 
now you can see that uh, discs are falling uh, I'll also reduce the speed to 0.25 and uh, play from start uh, now you can see the animation Uh, well we can save this animation as well and uh, let's play one more time uh, you can see the uh, discs are falling in this uh, okay so lastly i will save my animation uh, click here save animation and uh, let's rename it let's name it uh, uh, plinko uh, animation and uh, change this file type to let's say mp4 uh, you can change your aspect ratio let's make it 16 by 9 and uh, you can change this frames per second to maybe 50 and, uh, and now you can save this animation so uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial uh, i hope you like it and if you have any questions, any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects. Thank you.